The COVID-19 pandemic is the biggest health and economic crisis in a generation. Some governments are taking extraordinary measures to fight the pandemic in order to save lives, protect jobs, and avoid economic disaster. But the little-known Investor State Dispute Settlement System, or ISDS, included in many trade deals, could force governments to roll back public interest measures or pay millions in compensation to corporations. ISDS allows foreign companies to sue governments for measures that might impact their profits. When a government adopts a policy that affects a foreign company's profits, they can take that government to arbitration to cover their perceived financial loss. ISDS cases could arise from COVID-19 responses, such as restrictions requiring businesses to close, the use of private hospitals, making medicines and tests affordable, and debt restructuring. There are already 1,023 known ISDS cases. By 2019, states worldwide had been ordered to pay investors some 88 billion US dollars. The cost from a COVID-related wave of ISDS cases could be immense. Public money should be used to save lives, not diverted to pay ISDS awards. Over 600 civil society organizations from across the world have come together to make three demands. One, suspend all current ISDS cases during the COVID-19 crisis. Two, terminate existing agreements with ISDS. And three, stop signing any future agreements that include ISDS. If we work together, we can ensure that public money is kept out of the hands of private companies and instead is spent where it is most needed, protecting people from the COVID-19 pandemic. Share this video and join the movement.